Hi, I'm Patrick, a software engineer and founder of the Nova Crypto company. So today I will give you an introduction to the Nova Crypto platform. The Nova Crypto platform is based on four components. So the first one is the customer that will access the platform and that can use our application that we develop. Um, our application are um, separate between uh, centralized and decentralized. So what will give the availability to decentralize is the EOS blockchain that you see as a component in this uh, schema. And uh, we will uh, shift to the EOS blockchain all the transactions that we identify in the process of our applications that we are developing. We will bind also another ecosystem to, to the platform to cooperate with our uh, platform, collaborate with our platform. So it's also human uh, based, uh, this platform. It's not just a technical uh, platform that will give also the availability to cooperate in a fashion um, without code or without uh, without process and the things that's the internet of things so we can uh, connect uh, human objects uh, of our world to the to the platform so to to interact with the platform so the it's a 360 degree uh, vision of uh, the platform that we are building The Nova Crypto proprietary platform is based in the Swiss Alps, in a former military bunker, and as we name it, uh, this is a Swiss open blockchain, but around the EOS blockchain. So we will use the most suitable tool, the most suitable technology to interact with the EOS blockchain either by using our uh, EOS full node in uh, our um, platform or either by using a remote procedure call. That's mean uh, using procedure exposing through API by endpoints of a block producer. So for example, we, we are believing in um, EOS Nation EOS Nation is a blog producer based in Canada and this blog producer uh, as all another blog producer is exposing an API through his endpoint and so we will uh, pass through the, the, the endpoint, the API endpoint of um, EOS Nation to interact with the blockchain and that's that's a possibility so um, we provide virtual environment in this uh, nova crypto platform one of them is the operating system uh, windows virtual environment and the second one is the linux operating system virtual environment so the windows one uh, is uh, hosting our gestec Nova Crypto Toolkit JSTEC. Uh, it's a, a set of um, function uh, in several uh, layers. So we have a layer for the document management, another one for the customer relationship management, and another one for the BI 
and analytics um, and the BI and the analytics is a layer on top of our JSTEC, uh, giving the, um, the availability for the, for the user uh, that can be a customer or a consumer to uh, get a macroscopic view on the data. So to, to get the, this view and to, to, to react correctly uh, about the data. So a monitoring view, if you want. You can consider the JSTEC as a, a block of uh, functionality. And every block is a, is a layer. And this JSTEC is running on Windows. And um, in each of these uh, layers, we have a process. And in this process, we have uh, transactions. And we want to shift the most suitable transaction to the EOS blockchain. For example, in the layer um, document management, we can imagine that we uh, externalize, so we decentralize the storage of the document. But not directly the document, but a key of the document. So we will uh, cryptographically uh, generate a key based on SH, SHE, SHA sorry, uh, 256 uh, or another uh, protocol of uh, encryption. And we will uh, push this uh, key in the EOS blockchain through a smart contract that uh, is that will be uh, uh, that that is exists already and that we will use. So uh, sometimes we will use uh, existing smart contracts. Sometimes sometimes we will create uh, smart contracts. And um, as uh, Nova Crypto is a is an integrator in the blockchain. Uh, that's the name. We will uh, integrate, we will use what is already existing, we will reuse, and we will uh, create our workflow. That's the, that's the goal of that. And to, to, to render that possible, we will create an interface between JSTEC and EOS, and that's we are, that, that is exactly what we are currently to achieve. And in the next video, we will explain you more in detail. I will explain you more in detail the, the, the interface between JSTEC and EOS. And JSTEC, we can consider as an oracle. And like all oracle, uh, an oracle is an application uh, running off chain that is interacting with the decentralized world. And here, the decentralized world is the EOS blockchain. So, uh, when the user uh, is uh, coming on this uh, platform, he access through um, a, a web portal uh, on our website, novacrypto.net. He will, he will log in and he will uh, access through the, through the remote desktop on the platform. So, he will have a desktop and he will have the JSTEC. He will have all the applications that we compile for him. So he can use exactly what he needs. Uh, all his um, tailored to, to his needs. And uh, that's the goal of the Nova Crypto platform. So now I will go uh, more in detail about uh, EOS uh, in comparison with uh, Ethereum blockchain and why we choose uh, EOS blockchain. It's based on a source uh, you see on the bottom of this slide. You can go on the web and uh, search uh, about, uh, about that. So, um, we can say we have to consider uh, to to do this comparison. Uh, we have to 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 take some uh, criteria, and one of them is the scalability. So, um, if we want to run um, applications and decentralized applications. Uh, and if we want to 
to migrate application of today uh, in decentralized application. We need a lot of transactions per second. And the only one blockchain that is uh, doing this, it's the EOS blockchain. So currently, as of date, uh, we support 3000 transactions per second with uh, EOS. And we are still in the mainnet blockchain and we are not uh, working with the sidechain the intercommunication and no parallelization so when the parallelization will be there we will support million of transactions so you can see here the ethereum blockchain is supporting 50 15 transaction per, se per second and um, they are trying to improve this by doing sharding uh, it's we can say sharding is like the the side chain that are uh, in eos blockchain it's a kind of but ethereum currently is not supporting um, industrial application or real decentralized application Another criteria is the governance. When we speak about Bitcoin as a first blockchain and uh, after that uh, Ethereum, as the second blockchain, they are based on the proof of work. Mining, uh, mining uh, farms, mining pool, and that use a lot of energy and it is centralized in a, in, in, a, in a way because the most of the mining farms are based in uh, China and um, it's a kind of centralization and not decentralization. And there is no governance, governance in the Ethereum blockchain. There is no. Uh, however, they have uh, created an Ethereum foundation, that the foundation is based in Switzerland, in the Tsug Crypto Valley. Uh, but this is not really a governance in the sense of EOS. EOS, you have a consensus mechanism. The name is DPOS, Delegated Proof of Stake. So that means you give the... Um, uh, you elect producer, block producer, block producer, for example, EOS Nation, vote for him, vote for him, uh, for EOS Nation. And you, let's say you vote for this block producer, you are a token holder of EOS, so you, you vote for him. And the, the nice things about governance, you have a constitution. The, the constitution is a bunch of articles that the, the, the block producer have, have to follow, to respect, and the token holders can uh, vote uh, for this constitution. Um, they have um, the possibility to do a referendum, uh, referendum, and to do this referendum, they, 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 they can do this referendum by using smart contract referendum smart contract so on chain but they can also um, doing uh, influence it the the constitution by doing this off chain so that's a real governance it's not only based on code it's also based on human so when we say based on code i want to say on chain with the the smart contract referendum but that can be also influenced off chain and that's very interesting the development complexity uh, in ethereum you have only one lang programming language that was expressly created for ethereum it's the solidity and this programming language is not a compiled uh, language like c plus plus or another language that we know uh, in the software engineering. So this Solidity language is hard to, to implement 
And when you have something to, to update or fix, it's, com it's very complex. Uh, in EOS, you have a protocol, that's the WASM, and the WASM is, means uh, WebAssembly, and it's a protocol, it is a protocol that gives the availability to have many language, many programming language uh, supported. That means you can interoperate between them. A programmer can do a smart contract uh, in C++, and another one can create a client side um, by using JavaScript library from EOSIO software. So the EOSIO software is providing uh, several libraries uh, for different uh, language. So that gives uh, an availability to the programmer to interoperate. And when you have to fix and update something, that's that's more uh, easier. So that's that's easier. Um, the timeline, yeah, clearly the, 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 the EOS since the mainnet uh, launch uh, has already uh, is already in in phase with the the promise the the, the promises. Uh, about the, um, the scalability, about the governance, but one point of the, on the governance, uh, EOS Nation Block Producer is currently to, to manage a project uh, with the another Block Producer to give governance tools. Uh, I say, uh, for example, the referendum smart contracts uh it's a it's a kind of governance tool they are another governance tool but this is a this is the 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 main um, um project actually in uh, in uh, eos the generalized features when we speak about generalized feature we want to to speak about the identity identity authentication file storage so by ethereum is something that is uh, internationally uh, avoid why because ethereum uh, from the beginning is using the the functionality the features uh, from uh, not with a lot of abstraction when you want to use Ethereum, you have to use directly the, the public key. You have to manage your public key. You have to manage your private key. You have to manage all. It's very uh, in infancy. Um, on another side, in EOS, you uh, work directly with, an, with a user identity, identity a real user identity that's mean you use account names and this account names is uh, constituted of uh, 12 letters and digits and it is more uh, easier for you to to uh, remind your name because you don't have to play directly with the public key uh, they are uh, robust permissions to access the, the the blockchain and the storage the storage uh, from the beginning eos is supporting the ipfs ipfs is a protocol to store file uh, that's mean interplanetary file system you can see that uh, on the web uh, the principle is when you have a file you have an id and uh, your id for this file will be the same as it is uh, stored on a, on a server A, that it is stored on a server B or C or D. So it's it's uh, your file is uh, totally uh, decentralized, distributed across the the network, and IPFS is the key to um, Internet 3.0. So the third version, uh, the new version of Internet and EOS is building the new Internet also. So EOS is in fact building the new Internet, but it is also building a new society, 
uh, we can say uh, EOS is the everyone open society because we will have um, the availability to 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 cooperate, to be free, uh, free uh, to to use what we want, um, and to collaborate with with the people that we want. So it's a community. It's it's something uh, human that you don't find in Ethereum. There is no humanity in Ethereum. And something that is different between Ethereum and EOS, we can say also, is the code is law. By Ethereum, when you create a smart contract, the, the code is the law. When you create a smart contract in EOS, Dan Larimer, the, the, the creator of uh, the EOS, uh, has uh, in mind from the beginning that the human can do error. Uh, the programmer do error. So it's impossible to, to, to anticipate all the failure uh, that you can have when you create a smart contract. And for this reason, to the smart contract, you can attach a Ricardian contract. So Ricardian contract is a contract that is attached to a smart contract. And in this contract, there is a listed, uh, like in a contract, uh, all the, the failure, uh, possible failure that, he, that are not uh, implemented in the smart contract. So all the case that is not uh, programmed in the smart contract. So for the adoptability, uh, EOS is better because you have human readable addresses. So that's the account name. You have no transaction fees. So every time you do something, every time you call an action, because a smart contract is a set of actions, so every time you call an action in a smart contract, you don't have to pay for it. So it's transaction, fee, transaction um, free, so no fee. Uh, you can uh, recover your key. If you lose your key, you can recover. And it is anti-hacking from the beginning. EOS, EOS uh, has in mind the, the security. In Ethereum, if you lose your key, you cannot use nothing. It's finished. And you have transaction fee for all what you what you use in Ethereum. You have to pay. And the market position. Uh, from the beginning, EOS is uh, has in mind to to uh, migrate the, the mass application that we have today, the big application that we have today, in a decentralized application. Let's say, for example, today we have uh, Wikipedia, and the founder of uh, Wikipedia has decided to create Everypedia. Everypedia, so the, 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 the encyclopedia, uh, but totally decentralized. And we are more apps we are only at the beginning, but uh, already now that we are at the beginning, because we are uh, supporting 3,000 transactions per second, we can already imagine to create a nice uh, decentralized application. So you find all the detail of this slide on the web. So I thank you to, for the time that you, that you have uh, to watch this video. And I will, see, I will do another video in the future uh, to explain more in, in, detail, in detail about the interface between JSTEC and uh, the EOS, uh, the EOS uh, blockchain. So thank you for watching and uh, subscribe to this video and let your comment. And if you like, smash the like button. Thank you. Bye bye.